I have more compilations. I'm so excited. Okay. <laughs> I love finding old videos. It's just so fun. It's so much. It's it's like reliving those precious moments all over again. Love it. Okay. So this first video is right before the Festival of Flowers, which I did an entire vlog on the Festival of Flowers. But this is the last few minutes of us getting ready and like deciding what we're going to take. I'm trying to remember everything. And yeah, it's just what we look like in the princess room when we're getting ready before an event and usually I'm extremely stressed out before a large event because you know if anything goes wrong it's my fault so um, this is a little bit of before the festival of flowers and then immediately following is a clip of Anna um, she did um, a promotional video for us advertising that we were gonna be at the festival of flowers from an event that we've done several years in a row so I've done another compilation video with um, talking about this this was the rubber duck rubber ducky regatta which is a charity event for the Ronald McDonald house love them so we do that every year um, but this was just the girls there at the event um, this was I think three years ago so we look better than this now, don't judge me. And then I took a clip of the like surroundings at the event um, just to show we were there. <laughs> This is a clip of me at an Elsa party helping a little girl open her presents. One of the only things that I do and require my other characters to do that is sometimes out of character because I never want anybody to do anything out of character. And when I say out of character, I don't mean like out of character necessarily just for their character. I mean as a princess in general, we help the kids open their presents. And that's not really something that Elsa would do, but I feel it necessary to do that for the sake of the party, for the sake of the birthday girl, for the sake of the mommy and daddy and grandma and grandpa watching and all that. That's the one thing I would say we do out of character. Um, I try to, you know, only talk about our kingdom, only talk about castles. We don't really talk about cars. There's no such thing as cars in most um, fairy tale kind of things. So, but this is us opening presents. And for this little girl, I've done her party a few years in a row as Elsa. 
which is fun. She she just really loves her Elsa and her mommy is just the nicest. I actually ran into her downtown after Mardi Gras. We were going out to eat after a parade and she goes, and I didn't look like Elsa. I mean like I had my hair long and down and you know not princess makeup on and she goes, are you Elsa? And I was like, yeah. And then I recognized her because we've done her child's party multiple times. So that was fun. But anyway, here's that. <laughs> This is the clip of Ariel singing. Um, I love being Ariel. I feel like she's most like me in the excitedness of her. And um, I don't know, I just feel cute as her because you can be bubbly, you know? Life is the bubbles and all that. Um, but I was singing to the birthday girl and she didn't really care. She actually walked away in the, well, I think she cared. She was just shy. That happens a lot. So she kind of walked away in the middle of the video, but there was another little girl that I was like spinning with and dancing. And this was just such a cute party. The decorations were beautiful. It was at like a play gym, which I find repulsive because I'm kind of a germaphobe. Before coronavirus, I was a germaphobe. So you can imagine how I feel right now. You know what I'm saying? Um, and when I say germaphobe, I just mean like I shower every night before I go to bed. I have hand sanitizer in my purse and in my car and all the places before anybody was worried about germs. I've always been very cleanly. And so child's parties sometimes gross me out. And the thought of a play gym with all of the toys and everything disgusting in there, it just, you know, I just don't love it. But anyway. Here's Ariel pretending to love a play gym with the sweet little birthday girl. <laughs> This clip is of Cinderella. Girl, I love being Cinderella. I think Cinderella and Ariel are my two favorites. I love Aurora too. Um, oh, you know what? It's so hard to pick. No one even asked and I'm just rambling about it. It's so, I, but Cinderella was one of the first um, princess movies I ever saw as a five-year-old child. I hadn't, I didn't know what Disney was. I never went to Disney World as a child. We were poor, okay? Um, we didn't own any Disney movies except for Pocahontas. And I love Pocahontas, too. I wish I could be her, but I'm not a beautiful Native American. That's okay. Um, but, gosh, I love Pocahontas so much. And the fact that she was a real person. Are you serious? <gasps> okay, so I watch other people's princess party stories and like girls that work at Disney talking about like because you know when you work there you're not really supposed to talk about it but whenever you're done working there you can do whatever you want and I own my own company so I can do whatever I want but um <laughs> this one girl was Pocahontas and she was talking about you know funny or crazy things that happened when she worked at Disney and she said this one little girl the craziest thing that she ever heard was this one little girl came up to her and she goes oh my gosh Pocahontas I love you so much I visited your grave because she was a real person like nobody can say that to Cinderella she didn't die because she's not you know anyway beside the point other than the Lion King I saw in theaters as a five-year-old child and Cinderella those, those are the only Disney, I, we were poor, you know, which was fine, it was fine. Anyway, so, this is me being Cinderella and living my best life because I love her so much and she's just so beautiful and perfect and precious and she just, you know, have courage and be kind. Anyway, um, this was just such a precious party and this isn't actually even anything from Maybe I can find some more clips. Maybe it'll be a couple of clips. You'll see. I don't know what we'll add in here. But this little girl was so sweet. And then I I sang to her. And she sat in my lap. Um, when the coronavirus isn't happening, I like for kids to sit in my lap when I'm a princess. Because it's just so sweet. You know, the only people's laps you're allowed to sit in as a child, you being a grown-up adult, 
um, that's, you know, not allowed. We don't sit in strangers' laps, you know? Like, no, the world is not that kind of place anymore. So it's a really, like, special, sweet moment because you only sit in your mommy's lap and she rocks you to sleep or your grandma, your nana, she tells you a story, you know? So to be able to sit in Cinderella's lap and to have kids come and, like, to have that special precious trust and I I sang like I, I sometimes a lot of times I rock back and forth especially when I'm Cinderella because she does that when she's cleaning in the movies and stuff um, but I had this little girl come and sit in my lap and I kind of rocked with her and sang and she almost fell asleep Okay, these next couple clips, the first one is Anna, and this is a very um, well-known spot downtown in the city that we are located in, and so I told her, because Anna's very clumsy, you know, fetchingly draped against the wall, um, she, I told her to balance on the railroad track, and so it's just a cute little clip of her doing that so that it would be funny to post on our Facebook page. I just like to have cute little videos to share so people are like, oh hey they're cute and inventive, let's hire them. Okay, so I got that one and then this next one after that is Fancy Nancy, who is our newest character by the way. Um, and love, love Cortland so much, she's so sweet. Um, and then this is just a little promotional shot of her too, little advertising thing for Facebook. These next couple clips are of me and my girl Lauren. I love her so much. I mean, I love all my girls. Are you serious? If I didn't, I couldn't have them, you know? It's such a different job, and you have to be so close with training and talking about characters and being at par- You know, it's not like any other job. So you you have to love each other, basically. Um, but anyway, this was the first time she ever put on her Merida costume. Um, I just randomly bought a wig and bought a dress. Sometimes I make my dresses, but this one I was like, mm-mm, I'm not gonna try that. So I bought a Merida dress and wig secondhand all of a sudden, and I was like, well, hope somebody can play her. But I just, I love Brave the movie so much that I was like, we have to add her. We've literally only had like one event with her, okay? <laughs> but I, I just had to, and so I... I have a private group with all of my performers, so I was like, hey, who wants to uh, audition to be Merida? Because <laughs> uh, at this time, I didn't play her yet. Um, I was not good enough at a Scottish accent. I'm still not the greatest, but I'm really proud of how far I've come from where I started. It was terrible. Um, mimicry. Mimicry is where it's at. Um, and just watch that movie over and over and over. I'm advice for anybody who wants to learn an accent or something about acting. I'm not the most amazing actress in the world, but I do know a little bit. Anyway, so this is the first couple moments of seeing her in it, and I mean, I had never even tried all of this on, so I was just, yep. <laughs> yep. Bring it out! Oh my gosh. Okay, now, 
Now talk about it in your Merida accent. Anything, just say whatever. I am Merida, firstborn of Gangnam Watch, and I'll be shooting for my own hand. <laughs> okay, this is uh, Lauren being the Grinch or just trying on the costume for the first time. Um, I'm really bad at vlogging when it comes to Grinch stuff because the Grinch is so much more stressful than the other character. Anyway, um, so this is her practicing for the first time um, in the mask. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> I love not being the Grinch. I love not being the Grinch. I love not being the Grinch. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, your teeth are way too pretty. <laughs> like, oh, I could, that's I could why. Some, uh, I well, that's some. why I always would show my bottom teeth because they're crooked. The one time I've been happy oh, to oh have crooked God. teeth in my life. I stopped wearing my retainer, and so my bottom teeth are a little. I used to just do like that. Because my bottom teeth are kind of crooked and I don't whiten them as often as I whiten the top. Don't tell anybody. Even though I'm probably going to post this. It's fine. Just a little Grinch shrapnel. No big deal. I'm probably going to scare the kids so much just because I'm so tall too. Which is perfect because I was always shorter than some of the freaking men and it was weird. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. This clip is pretty self-explanatory, but I'm going to over-explain like I do for every single one of them. Okay. Um, this is me and Fancy Nancy. This is Cortland. Um, she does Snow White too, but we literally never have any Snow White stuff. So I don't have her in very many vlogs. It's not because I don't love her any less. It's just because the sweet baby doesn't get very many bookings. Somebody book Fancy Nancy and Snow White, dadgummit. Anyway, this is a day that we had two Fancy Nancy parties in a day, so that was record-breaking and so fun. But anyway, um, after every single party, which I've said this before, we go eat. And when I say go eat, I mean we go through a drive through and shove our faces on the way home because you're starving and exhausted after a party. So you're welcome for this footage. This last thing is Hayes being Anna. This is also some more um, training footage. Um, this was that same day that she, I think it was the first time we had ever done anything for her as Anna. Um, I was just getting some promotional footage. We used to do, and we should start doing this again, but, you know, we don't really have that many events anymore because of the coronavirus. Um, which I'm, I'm happy to be safe, but you get it. Anyway, um, we used to record a princess joke every week and post it. Um, so, yep. This is Anna telling jokes. That girl. Do you know what he told me? Hold on. What is it? What? Thank you so much. That's all the footage I have for this video or it would be 85 minutes long. Um, I hope that you enjoyed watching these silly fun little memories of magic is what I like to feel they are for me anyway. Um, if you would like to watch any more princess story times or compilation videos I can lick I can lick nope not gonna do it not a popsicle not a sucker nope I can link uh the <laughs> 
playlist to all those videos in the description box of this video if you're interested in watching any more videos like that i make videos of all kind of random stuff but i got a lot of princess footage so thank you so much for watching this bye